Canada Border Services Agency and the Greater Toronto Airports Authority unveiled some new electronic gates today at Pearson Airport. Ten new gates are now up and running at Terminal 1. Officials say these e-gates will streamline the customs process for travellers and also help to ease some of the general delays at the airport. These e-gates are ideal for processing individuals and small groups over the age of 16. Just like our existing self-service kiosks, a traveler will approach the gate, scan their travel document and have their picture taken to confirm their identity. At which point, they'll be able to answer all mandatory customs and immigration questions, either by answering the questions directly on the screen or by having so, uh, completed their advanced declaration on the ArriveCan app or on the ArriveCan website up to 72 hours prior to their arrival. Everybody knows it's certainly been very busy as travel's really rebounded in the last six months. We started working on this with CBSA before the pandemic, looking at how we could modernize the border with them and working and looking at other countries around the world about how they use them. So through the course of uh, the last two years, we've worked with CBSA to bring in e-gates to speed up the process. And I heard earlier questions related to, is this just additional technology? It's both. It's additional devices and a faster process. Now, Pearson Airport suggesting that international passengers use a new advanced declaration feature in the ArriveCan app. This would allow them to submit their customs and immigration information up to 72 hours before they arrive back home. ArriveCan is uh, still mandatory in terms of collecting COVID and vaccination information from all passengers. And there have been some calls from health experts as well as some business owners and even the airports to scrap the app. There's benefits for it because it helps you get through the process. I mean, with it being mandatory, why not do it on a, on a declaration or a, sorry, on an, an application that helps you speed up the process? And now we've started to add in the advanced declaration piece to the Arrive Can app. So we see it as a good tool to help people get through the process a little bit quicker. The advanced declaration within there can help people get through. You know, it's, it's relatively new, but we've started to see people get through the process in, in 30 to 40 percent quicker than, than before. Now, despite the controversy surrounding the Arrive Can app, the government says it will be a mandatory part of travel for the foreseeable future.